Hey everyone, it's Tammy at Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I'm making a soap and it is scented with essential oils. And I got this off of the eocalc.com uh, and they have all kinds of blends on that site. And I get most of my essential oil blends from that site because I'm just not very good at coming up with my own blends. So this one is called Juicy. And it's very fruity. And let me let me just show you or read to you what's in it. Um, it's grapefruit, orange, lemon, lime, and let's say it. It just seemed very spring-like to me. And I'm ready for spring and fun. It's, it's It smells really just bright, fresh, and springy. So I think it's a good time of year for it. It is March now. Uh, and... I am going to be doing my neons again. I had so much fun working with these neons a couple weeks ago with the Soap Challenge Club for February that I just have to use them again. I think they're so pretty. So I have my orange, purple, pink, and green, and then my base is going to be white. So I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing, and we're going to make this juicy springtime soap. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I um, got my new camera and I'm still kind of figuring it out. It doesn't, I don't, my tripod doesn't go high enough for a very uh, wide angle view. So I, oh, let me put my glasses on. So I'm still going to have to figure that out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I took some product photos with it uh, last weekend and the first time I, the first ones, I even loaded them on the website, it, but they were not good. Um, but I kind of researched better, like, I don't know how you say it, like the the ISO. I don't even know anything about any of that. Um, but I researched that and found some settings, and the second time I took my photos, they were much improved. I'm going to... It's a pretty small batch. When I use essential oils, I do just the nine burr batch. Um, honestly, I just can't afford to buy essential oils in like 16 ounce batches or 16 ounce um, bottles, which is what I would need probably if I was to go any bigger than this batch size. Look how easy that comes off. Gosh darn. So I'm just going to stir this a little bit. And I'm going to get my essential oil blend in. It's really orange in color. If you can see how orange that is. That orange essential oil is a beautiful orange color. So again, here I am using neons. So I'm hoping my neons won't discolor too badly with um, with this orange uh, fragrance or essential oil blend. So I'm going to go ahead and, gosh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, and it's thick. So I'm going to move really quickly. Give me just a minute here. Oh my gosh, look how thick that is. That's not going to work. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. All right, well, I'm going to throw in some, uh, some of my titanium dioxide. And I still want to color this, but it's really getting thick. may have to change my idea on the fly here, which is maddening. I already have all my colors ready to go. That's really, really thick, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with it. Shoot. Wow, look how thick that is. I need to look at my recipe to see if my recipe is causing... Um, I, have, I have cocoa butter in it. But not a lot. 
but I think I'm going to have to maybe rethink my recipe and lose the cocoa butter because it's just um, it's a lot thicker than I expected it to be. I'm kind of bummed about my neons. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to think of what I can do with the soap to put my neons in there. Um, uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. Good night. Look how thick that is. It's already starting to gel. That is fast. I've made essential oil. I'm, I've made soap with uh, orange essential oil. So I don't think it's the orange that did this. I used to make an orange poppy seed soap all the time that was pretty popular. I haven't made that in a long time. It's probably too thick to pound, so let me just see if I can spread it. I have all of this oil that I took off my batch to prepare for these um, these colorants. So this is probably, I would say, let me see. They're not quite uh, an ounce each. So three and a half ounces probably of my oil is in these cups. And I do have a 5% super fat, but this oil is not in my soap batter. And so I'm a little bit worried about a lye heavy soap. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to put this in my crock pot and cook it and do a hot process um, and add in, dang it, if I put all of these oils in, it's just going to look like crap. Um, but I am worried about this being just a little bit high, lie heavy, and I don't want any any lie in this at all. Um, I, I don't think the missing oil is what caused this to accelerate so fast. It's either my recipe or the essential oil blend. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to get this out of here. I'd rather be safe. And if it turns ugly, it's still usable, right? I'd rather it be safe. So I'm going to scrape this into my crock pot. So I guess this is a, a video now on how to fix a mistake. <laughs> so hang on, I'm gonna go grab that crock pot. This bums me out because <laughs> crock potting, I mean, that's all well and good. Um, it basically, it's called rebatching when you do it this way. And I won't have to do anything too major because I'm doing it like right away. So it would kind of turn it into a hot process soap at this point, um, which is really not my favorite way of making soap. Uh, but I'm gonna be able to add all of this oil into my soap. And I'm gonna cook it. I am kind of curious to see what color this is gonna turn out to be. Now what I can do later on if it's really bad, I can add a little more oil with a little more of these neon, maybe just one color, <laughs> and uh, brighten it up. Uh, I could add some titanium dioxide. I can, I can just do whatever I want at that point. Um, but these oils are now going to be part of the soap, and it's going to be. Can you see that? It it looks like a hot mess, and actually, it probably just is a hot mess. It's already turning brown and muddy. Go figure. 
it's going to be a very rustic bar. Um, it's not going to have smooth edges. It's, um, it's just going to be very, very rustic. That's part of the hot processing or rebatching part of the soap. But now that I have it in here, I'm going to turn my crock pot on and just let it cook. and stir it once in a while. So I'm gonna set this on the back counter. Dang it. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. I'll show you what it looks like after a little while um, on the heat. Lid on. Okay, it's probably been 30 minutes, maybe, maybe 45 minutes. It's been cooking on low and there it is. It's starting to bubble a little bit. And so what I do is I will mix it with my KitchenAid like little hand mixer here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this going. Basically what I'm trying to do is just make it smooth. Get all the chunks kind of worked out. And I'm incorporating a little air. And I'm just going to call that good for right now. I really, really, really like the smell of this. But it is turned um, a peach, peachy color. I'm not loving that. So I'm gonna have an orange um, little little bit of oil and mica made up. So when I come back in a, in a half an hour or so to mix it again, I'm gonna have that ready and we're gonna just color it and try to get it a, a nice vibrant orange and see if that makes it look any better. <laughs> the problem with doing that is you will always have little chunks that aren't completely melted. And those little chunks are not going to be the same color as the orange I'm putting in there. So you're going to see some chunky different colors in that, but I, I think I'm going to be okay with that. So yeah, I'll bring you back when it's time to add that and to it's mix it It's probably been 35, 40 minutes again, so I'm going to get it back out here. All right, I don't think it needs to cook too much um, because it's completely fresh. If it was um, a soap that I was rebatching that maybe was weeks old or even months old, it would take a lot longer to do this process. But that's pretty smooth for a rebatch soap. Um, I'm gonna go turn the crock pot off. I think I'm done with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my orange uh, oil mixture. Orange and mica, orange. I used orange vibrance mica from Nurture Soap. It was really pretty and shimmery. So hopefully this will give it a little bit of color these rebatches are pretty dull usually. And it takes a lot to make them have color. And that didn't do much of anything. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit more in here. And so now what happens is the fight against a bunch of air pockets and there's nothing for it. It's going to have air pockets. It's just too thick not to. So 
So I'm going to smush it and smash it and pound it <laughs> and try my darndest to keep from having huge air pockets. So basically, if I worked at it really hard, I could I could have made this a little looser. I could have added some more water, um, but I'm just going to call this cracked top good. There it is, craggly, cracked, and but smells wonderful. Smells really good. Um, so. Yeah, it was a fail, but it could be a win, too. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to rest. Um, it's already cooked. It's probably already gone through the saponification, you know, in the hour and a half that it cooked. Uh, so I'm not worried about uh, lye, you know, it's it's safe. But I'm still going to let it sit for four weeks before I, I sell it or use it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll cut this up tomorrow and see what it looks like. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I made this juicy soap, and I haven't even looked at it yet. So it's in the mold here. So let's get it unmolded, cut, and uh, it's pretty craggly on top. <laughs> well, so we'll see what it looks like when we cut it. Hang on just a second. Like I said, can you see how craggly that is? But it smells wonderful. Oh, it's crumbly. There it is. So basically, some of my colorant didn't get mixed through, but basically when you when you have to hot process your soap, you're just going to have to expect all of these crackles and uh, craters and it's just never going to be that smooth bar. It's still going to be a good bar. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be great. But it is very crumbly. Um, so let's see what it looks like. Not so bad on the inside. It's very, very rough on the outside. Very, very rustic. So I'm okay with the color. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that on the on the camera. There's a, a few little spots in the soap. Again, that's pretty normal too. It's not every bit of that soap usually gets melted when you do this. So that you can see those maybe. There's some spots up there that but oh this smells really really nice and <clears throat> I think I'm gonna be doing this fragrance again I know I'm a glutton for punishment but I think if I if I changed my recipe around and used a really slow moving recipe and I think that maybe if I did my essential oils in with the oils before I even put the lye water in maybe that would help um, I've, I've heard I've heard of other people saying that that kind of helps with speeding traces or that kind of helps with fragrances that speed speed up but yeah, crumbly, but smells wonderful. It's still going to be a great bar of soap. Um, it's just not as pretty as I normally would like. So here they are. Final bar. Um, I did go ahead and bevel the sides just to give it a softer uh, feel in your hands. I am finding them to be a bit crumbly. So I will have to just kind of 
test this after a month or so and make sure that it's going to hold together well. I mean, just on the corners, it was starting to crumble. It isn't my lye water. It wasn't anything like that. It was just um, having to rebatch it. Sometimes um, it just doesn't want to adhere to itself again, which, like I said, this the smooth, the flat part is fine. So I think it's going to be fine. But before I sell it, I will definitely have to test that out. But it smells so good, so fresh, so uh, summery or springy. It's just so citrusy. I really, really like it. Um, I if I may have to make it again, but I'll just I'm gonna do things a lot differently, and I'll bring you along for a ride. But uh, yeah, that's juicy. Really, really happy with the scent. <laughs> we'll see what happens with the rest of it. So. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate your time. If you uh, want to subscribe and haven't already, please do so and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you hated it, you can give me a thumbs down and I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.